Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a requested look. So one person had asked me to do a teal tur turquoise kind of look and the other person asked if I could do an eye look where I took shadows across from multiple palettes and tried to create a look with that. So today I'm going to do both of those. I'm going to try to create a teal turquoise look with using multiple palettes. Um, so the only ones that I actually have with those types of colors in it is and I'm pretty sure I've used all of these on my channel before. I'm not so sure though. The first one is Alamar Cosmetics. The Rhina Del Caribe palette. I'm probably not saying that right. Beautiful palette. I love this palette. I love it. My uh, Instagram profile picture is using this palette. The next one is the Butter London palette which has this one that's a little bit of more of a muted teal I guess. And the last one is the Jaclyn Hill palette, and it's the first one that looks like this. And you see you have these turquoise shades in the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. So to get started, I already have my foundation and brows done, just the Benefit Cabral. I'm using, what am I using? Maybelline Fit Me. And... And so I have my contour done also. So to get started, I think the first color that I want to take is going to be the blue shade I haven't actually used before from this Butter London Goddess palette that's called Femme Fatale. Nope, wrong way. Let's bring it in just a little bit. I'm not going to zoom you in as close as I normally do, but I will zoom you in a little. So we're going to take that on this Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm just gonna start with that in my crease it's really actually prettier than I thought when I first reviewed this palette I just felt like it was kinda out of place you know like I feel like it's a pretty jewel toned color but it just didn't seem to make sense with the scheme of this Maybe if it was a little bit different of a shade, I don't know. That's just my opinion. It's still pretty though. But this just goes to show, like what I'm doing today, you don't have to stick to using one palette for a look. You can go across the board and use, you know, multiple palettes for a look. I actually do that quite a bit myself. If I want to take a shimmer or something from another palette, I'll do that. So the next one that we're going to dive on into is... Let me get it out of here. I can't open it. Okay. We're going to use the Jada. It's color Jada, which is this more greeny toned color from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing and use like multiple palettes. This is just part of a request, but you can just do this, this entire look with just one of the palettes if you don't have all of them. I'm going to go under the eyes with that with this Smashbox definer brush it's just like a dome shaped pointed brush it actually looks pretty similar once I get it on it's just a little more green than that other color and like I said you don't have to do this but I'm doing it now I'm going to dive in to the Alamar cosmetics palette for this, I want to take my Visanti, no that's not it, actually I'll take this Moda Detail Brush, which also looks like a pencil brush, oh lord, Guantana, <laughs> Guantana Namera, is that how you say that? I'm not sure. This really rich, pretty color in the bottom of that Alamar palette, and I'm going to take this one and kind of keep it at the crease and not above it. I'm hoping these colors will look nice together. In theory, in my mind, they do. But I don't know. We'll see how it turns out together. So I'm just doing that in my crease. I'm not going above. That's why I'm using such a small detailed brush is because I don't want to go above or below. I just want to put it right in the crease. 
And the best way to do that is to use a small brush that you can really have a handle on. And I'm actually going to take a little bit of this color and put it on the outer part also. It's a pretty color. Hmm. Now, what I want to do next is find... Is this it? Okay. This is the Luxie 246 Precision Crease crease brush, if I can say it. Actually, before I do this step, before I do that, I'm going to take um, this Moda smudger brush, which is literally just a smudger brush, and I'm going to take that Var Veradero. Sorry, I'm butchering the names of these. Like, really, I really am. <laughs> I'm going to take that Veradero, if that's how you say it, and stamp that on the outer portion of the eye. Just the literal outer half. And then we're going to blend that in a minute. I'm using a smudger brush because I just want the how stubby the brush is. It just gives a better impact of the color. Okay. Now we're going to take the, what is it? <laughs> the Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush, and I'm going to take this Pro Conceal uh, HD Definition from LA Girl. I think the color's flat white. Yeah. It's just this. I've done a review on this product actually before if you want to see that and the LA Girl eyeliners and stuff. I'm going to dip into this with my brush. And I'm going to wipe off the excess. And I'm going to put this on the inner corner because I want the color I'm about to use to be very vibrant. Make sure it's even. And you're just leaving a little bit of that purple color behind. I guess this would just basically be like a half cut crease. I don't do cut creases a lot. Just because I don't really, I'm not crazy about them. I don't like not like them or anything. I just don't ever gravitate towards really doing them unless I have something in mind. So I'm going to take that same motor brush and I'm going to take this color Celia. It's a really beautiful turquoise teal green pretty like it's I don't know it's got the perfect ratio of like blue to green in it and I'm going to stamp that on top it's a really pretty color, especially in the light when the light catches it and it shifts. It's so pretty. So when I join this teal color to this blue, I'm going to start doing little zhuzhi motions like that and basically combining the two colors. Just barely overlapping it where it blends and it's a more seamless blend and not just a bam blue bam teal so it's actually blended with each other and like I said again you cut the crease all the way until you just have the littlest amount of purple left over or burgundy maroon whatever you want to call that color I'm going to take a little bit of this Celia color still and I'm going to run it under the eye really tight to the lash line. Okay. Let me go back in with that Moda brush and a little bit of that purple. Now, if you picked up a little bit too much of the purple, just 
the maroon, whatever color you want to call it, if you did that, you can go back in with that same pencil brush and just ever so lightly kind of reinforce it back at the edge of that. And we're going to take a little bit of that uh, maroon color and go up underneath just the edge of where that teal is on the bottom. We're not going on top of the color, we're going directly underneath of it. Now I'm going to take, um, let's see, let's get a little detailer kind of brush. Let's get this Luxie small shader brush and we're going to get the color I can't say any of these. El Mession. Sorry, I don't know. Either way, we're going to take that on a flat Luxie 245 small shader brush and we're going to pop that on like the inner corner and also just a tidbit onto the actual blue. It's got a nice pretty reflective color. And a little under the brow. It's a weird color. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a gold champagne color. We're going to stamp that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is for probably my final step, is I'm going to take a blending brush, this uh, Moda crease brush, and I'm just going to make sure that the top is softened right there, where that purple and that blue connected at the top. I don't want any harsh lines. Blend out that highlight a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take some eyeliner and we're going to use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner in Fresh, which I told you in the earlier in the video that I did a tutorial on these already, if you want to see. And this is just like an aqua blue color also. Now I know this is a look, <laughs> it's not for everyone, but I'm not for everyone either, so whatever. I love using wild, vibrant, crazy colors and I'm never going to stop. <laughs> so lastly, I think I want to touch up with some blush, not lastly, but besides mascara and stuff. Um, I want to take this Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio and I want to use Scorcher and just a little bit of Paracio. I've ruined this whole tutorial not being able to say how, you know, to pronounce any of these words. So I'm just tapping back and forth in both of those colors because I don't want straight up like tangerine color like that, but I do want enough of it that it brings out like the vibrancy of this look and because the face needs a little more color especially with such colorful eyes. I don't like having just a bland face. I love blush. I got that from my mom. She's a blusher. She calls it rouge because that's who she is. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. Just a little bit more of the orange maybe. Okay. Now we're going to move on to mascara, curling our lashes and all that jazz. We're going to use the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and I'm just going to curl and do at least two coats. Okay. 
I got way too much by the way of that. If you can learn from my lesson, just don't. <laughs> That helped make it all come together, right? We're just gonna take a Q-tip and clean up because I, of course, as always, got a little bit on me. I love having a really gradient eye and that's the effect that when you do that little blending that I showed you guys gives it just creates a little gradient. I'll zoom you in in just a second and show you. I'm going to retouch up my eyeliner. I don't normally have to retouch up this eyeliner, but like I've told you guys before, after I put on eyeliner, I normally blink a little bit, so whatever's going to transfer goes ahead and transfer, and then I reapply it, but I forgot to do that. But this eyeliner actually stays really well. I really like the LA Girl liners. The only one I didn't try was the black because I didn't have a need to. So for lips, I brought this out here, not sure if it was going to be too, like, or not. Otherwise, I'll wear something pretty, like, basic, like maybe this pink. But this is, like, so vibrant and pretty, right? Like, is it too much? It could be too much. I could look like a clown. that is really vibrant. So you could go this route and do like a really vibrant lip like this. This is the MAC uh, Frost, Lipstick and Frost, and it's like a really apricot-y color. With like copper and what have you in it. My shirt does not match this look at all, so let's ignore that. This is a really tropical look. It's not fall at all. Like, it, this doesn't look like fall at all. And it's officially fall now. And I didn't do a fall look. But that's okay. So let's take off our cat ears. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and show you how the eyes look. So you can see what I'm talking about with that gradient. Let me get a brush or something that I can point to. So you can see, like, how that dark blue shifts into the teal and that light, that lightest, like, weird goldy, champagne-y kind of color. And it's not like there's no harsh lines. So just make sure you do that little zhuzhing motion like this. Just light blending motions. You're just going to go back and forth like that with the colors to blend them and incorporate them really well together. So this is the eye look. And, yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this. If you have any other requests, I got that I got that concealer in my hair. If you guys have any other look at it. Really? Really? Well. All right. <laughs> so, that's all for this look. If you guys have any more requests or anything else you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.